zebra look like they they bred last night. I actually had an old trail camera with me. Cheapo. Pretty small. I had that in my fanny pack just in case and I stuck that out this morning. There was one spot they were just pounding. Anyways, I gotta get going here. Finally got a good track and I've been on it for a little bit and it's gonna end up running out of daylight so I'm gonna get going I'm getting close these deer have got up a couple times now saw three bull moose the bulls actually got him got the buck anyways up out of his bed and now he's with these other deer I think it's just one buck a couple does but I'll show you, there's a, there's a doe bed right here, and he walked right by it. Doe laid right there. It's thick in here. Dragging this buck. I guess I I don't need to whisper. Got a decent buck yesterday in New Hampshire. And uh, today I'm on this track right here and I just creeping through here. You can see how see how thick it is in here. And I don't know if you can see, but right there where those tall spruces are. You see him step out right there. And uh, I didn't really know what he was for a buck. I still don't. Looked like he had a decent rack. He was walking right at me. So I put the bead on his neck and shot. He piled up right there. So Whew. two days in a row. Gotta love a little tracking snow. onto Vermont, but let's go check him out. Make sure he's, make sure he's out of it. Oh yeah, he's done. He's all right, Buck. Oh. oh. Jeez. About the same thing as yesterday. You can see hair all over the ground right here. He just come walking right up out of here. Looks like I might have got the, might have got the smaller one. Might have got the satellite buck. That's okay. Let's have a look at him here. Oh, he's heavy. A little kicker point. Broke his brow right off. Oh. All right, guys. Day number two. Tracking snow, 2022. Got a decent buck yesterday in New Hampshire, eight pointer. Um, he had me fooled a little bit. He had big feet for his size and he come running down the hill chasing a doe towards me and well, he didn't really leave me much option. So <laughs> anyways, come in here today, Maine and uh, Boy, you know, we talk about being persistent. I've been running around on this mountain all morning. It's like noon now, just after noon, I think. 
Um, man, we've been, I say we, me and the deer, we've been dodging each other all day. Um, I come in this morning and hit a couple old winter roads I wanted to walk looking for a track and I just couldn't, I just couldn't find anything that was fresh. A lot of tracks from yesterday afternoon and last night, you know, real frozen and man, I was struggling, but you know, you just, you don't give up, you know, you just keep going and I, I got on this guy's track about an hour ago. Um, it was pretty fresh, but not not steaming fresh. It was made today, which was the first track that I had seen other than a couple uh, does I jumped earlier with a little buck, I think a four pointer or something. Um, but anyways, I just got on him and I think this is the same buck, I'm not sure. Um, he just come walking back at me, which is almost the same scenario I had yesterday. Um, but either way, I'm happy with him. He's a cool buck. He's all busted up here. Broke off his G3. Broke off his brow tine. He got a little kicker down here. Good brow on this side. But anyways, I can show you better in another clip probably. But I was just coming through this stuff. You can see it's thick. Creeping down through through here. The snow was just starting to get a little squeaky. Kind of softening up. It's, it's getting like, you know, snowball snow. Um... And obviously you can tell the deer tracks are a lot fresher, but I just got him out of a bed a little while ago, but he wasn't running. There was three bulls in here all sparring. Um, bull moose and I, I heard them sparring and the buck track was still going that way. Well, they actually got him up out of his bed, I think. And there's a bunch of deer in here though. So I'm not sure he's probably not the big one. I don't know, but he's got some age to him. Doesn't have a, great big rack or anything but he's got pretty good bases and stuff so anyways I was just creeping down through this stuff and I happened to peek through right here and I thought I heard something and when I looked through I could see his his body just that color coming through the coming through the dark stuff right here and I killed him at about 20 feet he popped out in this opening right here and he was kind of sniffing all around he had his nose up and I couldn't really tell what he was and finally he stuck his head right up in the air like this he kind of I don't know if he caught a whiff of me or what like I said I was only about 20 feet away from him and geez I, I decided right then and there I said yeah he's got a pretty good rack I'd be dumb not to shoot him so I put the bead right there where I thought his neck was and he kind of turned and he was I think he saw me pull my gun up and anyways I fired and he dropped like a sack of potatoes right there you can see where I got him. That's the entry hole. But nice buck. Got some age to him. I don't know if he'll go 200, but he won't be too far off probably. So I got to get him all cleaned up. And now the work begins. I'm quite a ways in here, a couple miles. So I'm already a little wore out from hiking around all morning and dragging that one out yesterday so i better get going this is brand new brand new gun this year 760 i got sick of the the newer models they get rusted up real easy and so i found a beautiful beautiful old 760 carbine not six and uh, of course got the skinner peep on there the thing is just it's just awesome i love it um wicked field of view and uh anyways i i think i might have found a magic gun got two days of tracking snow and i got two bucks so guess i'll have to stay around for a while